Alright, Sid Sanders from here. How do you feel like you're finally getting acclimated to things here? Yeah, yeah. And what what do you feel like maybe has been uh, I don't know the issue is the right word to use, but uh, you know, things have been a little bit rougher mm -hmm. than last season was for you so far. I feel like I've been hitting the ball but it just hasn't fell really and um, against Texas it fell and it felt really great so I think I'm on the uprise now so pretty good uh, it's a pretty good feeling I feel like I'll be really good for the rest of the season that I just needed that honestly so is there more of an adjustment than we know with transferring to a new program you, you know I mean Arizona State's not a bad program mm -hmm. you know, so. well I would say the bats are different that's mainly it I don't know I just I just didn't perform as well as I wanted to maybe that's it's life. I mean, it's my sophomore year, so people have film on me. So it's just adjusting to that. And I'm getting adjusted to it now. I mean, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So we're, we're getting there. We're you, getting there. You've played a lot of softball. What's it like when you're hitting the ball hard, just hitting it at people? How is it? You don't like, you can't allow it to get frustrating, but how difficult is it when you're just not seeing balls fall, even though you're getting good swings? Yeah, it's, it's hard to see because you like know you hit it good, but. I mean, you just got to keep working, figure out a way to make the ball go somewhere else, I guess, if the shortstop's being really amazing that game. So I'm just glad I hit the ball, honestly. <laughs> Can you describe how the leaders on this team, the established players, and maybe even some of the transfers have kind of helped you along during that process? Yeah, they're just, they believe in me. You know, that's like, sometimes you don't have people who like believe in you and like want you to succeed. And I feel that even though I'm not performing right now, but they're like helping me along the way and they're wanting me to succeed and they're helping me with different ideas and things like that. So they're helping me a lot more than everybody knows. So You uh, talked about it briefly there, but what did Sunday mean and how has it carried over to the early part of this week for you? Sunday showed me that it's not over. You know, like I can, it's okay. Like this is a fresh start. Like I, I wash away everything else. This is like my new season right here because it's postseason now. So new season, freshly start. We're just going to go from here. Don't worry about everything else. We're just going to go up from here, basically. And what was what was that uh, atmosphere like in the locker room after that? Patty sort of was, alluded to it after It was the game. good. <laughs> um, basically, they were saying that, oh, good to see you, Sid. Like, so, <laughs> yeah, it is good to see me finally, you know. What have been maybe some of your, your conversations with Patty just through the season, maybe through some of the ups and downs? What's maybe been her message to you? Um, basically, it's it's normal to be in this situation because, like, I'm not used to it. But, like, it was a matter of time of when this would come. And it's good that it's coming now because I can learn from it for different seasons and all that stuff so I can get out of it faster. So it's very – it's not like bad conversations. Everything's good. She's just saying like, what, 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 let's work out of it time, so. What was it like uh, this weekend facing one of your former teammates? It was kind of surreal. I don't know, because it's hard. It's like weird seeing her in a different uniform. Probably was weird for <laughs> her to see me in Oklahoma uniform. Um, she pitched me different than I would would have thought. So oh, it was, yeah. that was interesting, but it was awesome. cool to see that. I don't know. Amazing. Even though they're Texas, but it's okay. <laughs> how, how so, as far as pitching you different than what you expected? I thought she was going to throw me inside, but she threw me outside. So <laughs> That was like the only difference. Just uh, having so many talented teammates when you're going through what you went through at the beginning of the season, does that help you? Uh, just taking some of the pressure off of you, or do you feel like it's harder to maybe get more opportunities? How, how did you kind of I honestly like to watch, like, I'm amazed to see, like, all the different talent, because I haven't been on a team where it's, like, very talented. So I don't feel, like, any pressure with it, if that's what you're asking. I, I don't feel any pressure with having talented teammates on my team. But I feel like, honestly, it's just, it's cool to see. I don't know. You can't really get any enough of it. I'm, it's, I'm honored to be on this team with a bunch of amazing athletes. I don't know. It's pretty surreal. Aside from some balls not falling in, in place or the numbers not being where you wanted, uh, has this been what you wanted when you transferred? I mean, make, make a decision that 
kind of a life-changing decision to come to a program like Oklahoma? Has it been kind of everything you hoped? It is. I get to learn from the best of the best, and I get to have amazing teammates like Grace Lyons, Ciara. Like I get to learn from them on the infield aspect. I get to learn from JT. Um, it's it's amazing. Like I mean, I'm obviously balls weren't falling, but they're gonna fall, and I will. It's it's amazing regardless if they didn't fall or not. So I'm having the time of my life regardless of what I'm producing. I mean, it's good to produce good, but not my moment right now, obviously. So. You played in a rivalry against yeah. Arizona last year, UCLA. Mm -hmm. How this last weekend compare? It was very. Di I didn't. I've never like been in like a atmosphere like that. Like with the, we had like a record breaking at the Hall of Fame Stadium. We didn't really have that many fans with Arizona and Arizona State. So it was very surreal. I don't know. Everything around here is very surreal. I don't. I haven't experienced this before. So it's pretty awesome. What, what's your relationship like with Alina? Alina. And, uh, you know, what's that been like having her here uh, with you doing, you know, making that same transition? It's good because we're both going through the same things and we're both like asking each other different, like, oh, how did he talk to you? Or like, how do you see this? Or how do you do this? Like, what's your, what's your idea of what, how to handle this? Or things like that. Like we kind of bounce off of each other and also ask our teammates too. So like, we bond with everybody, so it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice having her over here because I already spent a year with her. Yeah. Patty's mentioned time and time again the commitment to defense, not just being a really good hitter. What, what have you learned in that regard? I've learned to not let any ball get by me at first base. And like any, even if it's a bad throw, I need to have that ball just for like all the double plays we turn, like everything, like because it's important, like outs are important. I've learned a lot about defense, like more than I've ever known here. So it's pretty cool. I don't know what else to say about that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> what stood out to you about JT and his approach to hitting um, you know, since you've been here? Just all the information he provides is, I say surreal a lot right now, but it's, it's surreal. I don't know. It's. <laughs> It's hard to explain what he knows. It's on a different level, on a different level. Everything's just on a different level here. When you have a freshman season like you had, did you feel the expectations ramp up heading into this year? I'm and not gonna then. lie, I did, I did. I mean, it didn't happen the way I wanted it to. So what I can do now is to try and finish the season as like, still relevant I guess I don't know if everyone thinks I'm still relevant I don't know I don't think of I don't really I don't look at media for that reason like I just try and play ball and if I'm not hitting well then hopefully I'll get it the next game that's really how you have to go you, you mentioned like you said surreal several times yeah what what drew you to this program uh you know when you were looking and, and made your decision and how is the reality compared to maybe the expectation? I wanted to learn like more than just like, I wanted to be on a team that like knows a lot of information and that they can help me uh, perfect my game later on in life too. Like if I go pro or something, like not just to like, just play softball and then, you know, move on to a job. Like I wanna like get like to the highest level of my abilities, so. And I felt like Oklahoma had the best information and best like possibilities for me to do that. So I, there, I was really interested from that perspective too. And then just the reality compared to the expectation. Mm -hmm. How how has that been? Has it been what you expected or any different? What I expected, honestly. Yeah. What I expected. Sid, I asked a lot of the players the same question. I know these guys are tired of it. <laughs> uh, you wear number one. Why do you wear number one? Is there any specific meaning or anything? So my birthday is 11-11, so I have a lot of ones around me. So And I always see like 11-11 somewhere, so I, I just like the number one. I've always been number one since I was little, so that's probably why. Thanks, man. Thank Thanks you guys. So